Today's the last day of school for most of our students here in Central Florida. That means they're getting ready for camps, mm -hmm. playing outside more. For some, it might mean playing sports all day. Yeah, we talk about the risks and warnings of concussions when school sports start up in the fall, but it's also something we need to be aware of during the summer months as well. So morning anchor and health reporter Kirsten O'Connor is standing by now to ask a doctor about them. Ask a Doctor is sponsored by Conviva Primary Care for Seniors. Well, in the past few years, we've learned a lot about the permanent effects concussions can have on the brain. And in some cases, what we can do to prevent them from happening is very important. During the summer, there are more risks than you may not even be thinking about right now when it comes to what our kids are going to get into. So Dr. Elizabeth Davis, a pediatric sports medicine physician with Orlando Health Jewett Orthopedic Institute joins me now. And thanks so much for talking about this because yeah, it is something that parents might not be uh, thinking about with swimming and some of the other kind of hot weather sports that we want to get our kids right. into. Um, but of course those practices and things I'm sure you've seen concussions oh, yes, at absolutely. those practices as well. Oh yes, I see a lot of concussions in my clinic every day, even throughout the summertime. So let's talk about the symptoms parents mm -hmm. need to look out for because I think that's what we need to write down on the list first. Yes. So a concussion can happen not only if you get hit in the head, but if a kid takes a hard enough hit. So for example, in football, if a kid gets hit in the chest and has almost like a whiplash injury, mm -hmm. they don't have to physically get hit in the head, but they can have that brain sort of rattle around inside that skull and they'll have symptoms of headache, dizziness, feeling mentally foggy, just sort of not feeling like themselves. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times kids will come to you and they'll just say, mom, I just don't feel right. Like it's just something is wrong with me. Um, and those symptoms don't always show up right away. It can sometimes take, you know, a few hours, maybe even the next day. Um, and so that's something for parents to really be mindful of. So, I mean, a lot of kids will complain when they're going to their sports practices, mm -hmm. uh, especially when it's really hot during the summer. Mm -hmm. um, and I can see a parent thinking, oh, they're just trying to get out of it. Mm -hmm. So what do you think um, is a telltale sign that parents need to say, no, it's time for you to sit out, right? So I think the biggest thing is, is you, you know your child the best. And I would say, you know, you, you do need to trust your children. If your children come to you and say, you know, mom, I'm not feeling good. Or if you notice your kids just kind of not acting like their normal selves, like if they are not interested in the normal activities that they do, like if you notice that they're just, you know, not acting um, normally. Mm -hmm. So if they're not nor playing their video games like they normally do, watching TV, they're getting very tired easily, or you know that they took a hard hit when they were playing football or they had a soccer match where they they took a tackle you know mm -hmm. from another kid um, and you sort of see some of those signs you know you just you say okay you know we're just going to keep you out for a couple days and um, check in with their pediatrician you know or come see somebody like me and let us take a look at them um, and give you some advice before you put them back into sports. I think a lot of the discussion when it comes to concussions revolves around sports like football and soccer, mm -hmm. but we talked uh, a while back about mm -hmm. as a cheerleader, I think I may have experienced a concussion. So this happens in all sports. Oh, it happens in every sport. Um, it happens on the playground. I mean, it can happen anywhere. My sister, when she was in high school, um, she was a diver. She fell off of a mat uh, mm. doing her conditioning and hit her head on the concrete floor. Mm. So it can happen in any sport. Uh, and it's just something for parents to be aware of that anytime your child has a head injury, they really need to be cautious about that. What are some myths that you've heard about concussions that you just want to debunk right off the bat? <laughs> yes. So there's a couple that we hear very often uh, from parents. Oh, well, my kid didn't pass out, so he doesn't have a concussion. That's not true. Uh, most concussions that we see, children do not pass out. They mm -hmm. actually um, don't lose consciousness and you can still obviously have a concussion. Um, one of the other things, uh, like I said before, your symptoms don't always show up immediately. So you can get hit in the head or take a really hard hit and the kid may come to you and say, I feel fine, there's nothing wrong with me. Mm. Okay, you don't have a concussion. Well, you still have to be mindful of that because those symptoms can show up even a couple of hours or the next day. Um, so it's just something to make sure that you watch your child and make sure that those symptoms don't develop over a few, uh, the next few hours. The other one I've heard is, is about sleeping. Mm -hmm. Do you think that it's okay for a child to go to sleep if they think they may have had a concussion? Yes, it, it absolutely is, especially if the child was playing sports earlier in the day. So for example, if your kid had a soccer match at four o'clock in the afternoon, took a hard hit, um, they're complaining of a headache, you can absolutely watch them for several hours. Just make sure that they don't have big mental status changes. So, you know, they're able to stay awake, they're able to talk to you. Um, scary things that we talk about are slurring speech, 
um, losing consciousness, like you can't keep them awake, um, or you know, pupillary eye changes, um, again, sort of those stroke-like symptoms, then those are things that we get worried about. And yes, you should absolutely take your child to the hospital for those kind of symptoms. Important information as we head into the summer months. Thank you so much, doctor. It's great welcome. to see you again. Yes. I'll send it back to the ladies at the desk.